Springs is about 40 minutes from Tampa, um, where I live. And the reason why I'm going to Tarpon Springs today is because my friend invited me to brunch. And then afterwards, we're going to go see the Epiphany. I didn't know what that was until I looked it up. And apparently in Tarpon Springs every year around this time in January, uh, it's January 6th today, they celebrate the Epiphany uh, at the Spring Bayou in Tarpon Springs. There's supposed to be thousands of people at this event and Tarpon Springs isn't that big. So I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty crowded. I'm not huge on huge gatherings like this, but it sounds pretty interesting. So I'm excited to kind of see what it's all about. So what they do is I think around noon, the Archbishop will throw a cross into the Spring Bayou and 57 young men will uh, go into the dive into the water and hope to get that cross. So the Epiphany is a centuries old celebration um, commemorating the baptism of Jesus Christ. And after the uh, cross is retrieved, afterwards they're going to have celebrations, um, there's going to be some festivities with food and um, other things that I don't know, but uh, we'll, we'll find out. Also, Tarpon Springs is a Greek town. Um, there's a lot of Greek culture there and uh, it's known for awesome Greek restaurants. And um, they also are known for sponges there because it used to be a big sponge dock area. So you'll find lots of different sponges there, little shops. It's a really neat area. My friend lives uh, right by the Spring Bayou, so that's why she's um, hosting this brunch and invited me over, so really nice. I'm going kind of a roundabout way to my friend's house. Uh, since she lives right by Spring Bayou where the event is going to be held, there's a lot of road closures, so make sure if you're going to go to this event to look on um, their website or there's information uh, if you google it about all the road closures that are happening so yeah i'm just gonna go kind of around to avoid like the uh main area of uh downtown tarpon springs Hello. hi, hi. <laughs> Everybody getting there to go cup with <laughs> over to the spring bayou to see the archbishop throw the cross into the water um, luckily my friend lives super close so we're all just walking over hi <laughs> there are a lot of people here it's like 12:30 so 30 more minutes Lots of helicopters. Oh, somebody's singing. and I totally missed it. <laughs> they were like on the other side of it. Apparently I had to be like way close to it to see them do this dive and it happened like super fast, like five seconds and they already caught it. Tell them about the rumor. Oh, actually you tell them about the rumor. Yeah, there's a rumor going around that the boy that catches the cross is responsible for kissing all the female homeowners of Tarpon Springs before day's end. Good luck to the winner. 
I guess that's the area where they all jump in. Now we're gonna head into the city and see what kind of festivities they have going on. Is that where we're gonna find the boy? That's, I think that's where the boy is. <laughs> Where's the boy? Where's the boy? <laughs> They're blessing them. They're blessing them. Okay. So these are all the diverse families. short distance so it happened super fast in like 10 seconds and it was over and just like that um, and then afterwards um, they go to the church and they everybody congratulates the boy and got to saw him for a little bit he looked super happy and he was like the celebrity for the day and apparently um, you know for the rest of the year he's supposed to have good luck and I'm sure he'll retain his celebrity status throughout the year and until like the next year when the new boy will get the cross and then there's supposed to be some festivities afterwards and I walked around for a bit um, but we didn't stop by because we had to go use the bathroom so we all went back to my friend's house and kind of enjoyed our time there for the rest of the day uh, but yeah there's supposed to be some festivities dancing um, some food but we were full from the brunch but yeah it's worth checking out if you're in the Tarpon Springs area or in the Tampa Bay area in January in Florida, it's super nice. Like today was perfect weather. It was in the 70s. Um, such a nice day to enjoy the outdoors. 